Hi, I'm Joe James. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Agile. We want to start by showing you how the waterfall process works for contrast. The traditional waterfall process for managing software development projects used phases. So the requirements analysis is where the customer's requirements were defined in detail. In the design phase, the overall architecture of the software was designed. The coding is done in the implementation phase. And then all the features and functions are tested in detail in the verification phase. And in deployment, the software is delivered to the customer. And after that, there's a maintenance phase where updates and revisions can be made to the software. The phases are normally completed sequentially. So phase two doesn't start until after phase one is finished and so on. So the waterfall process starts by working closely with the customer to define his requirements in detail. After that, the customer has little or no interaction with developers. The development cycle is like a black box to the customer. He provides all his requirements, waits a long time, and then gets finished software delivered that hopefully meets his needs. Now one obvious problem with this is that it doesn't accommodate changes in the customer's needs very well at all. So once his requirements are defined, that's it. You can't request changes or additional features until the maintenance phase. Unlike the waterfall process, the Agile process keeps the customer involved throughout the development cycle. In Agile, the goal is to deliver partially working software as early as possible, then gradually add features and functions. Agile means always having a working version of code. And each successive version should be closer to what the customer needs. So working software is the primary measure of progress. Agile accepts changes as a given. The customer's needs will change over time, so the Agile process strives to stay in sync with those changes. So the finished project is exactly what the customer needs when it's delivered, not what he needed a few years ago when it was defined. If halfway through the development process, the customer decides that his needs changed or the priority of his features changed, then the developers can adapt to those changes and work towards the new requirements. The earlier in the process a change in customer requirements is identified, the easier it is for the developers to adjust the code to meet those requirements. So at the end of the project development cycle, the customer gets exactly what he needs. Agile also values motivated, self-managed teams. Brief daily face-to-face -face meetings are usually called scrum meetings. Agile values maintaining a sustainable development pace. It also values simplicity and technical excellence. The Agile Manifesto sums up in four major points what Agile values. It values individuals and interactions over processes and tools. Working software over comprehensive documentation. Customer collaboration over contract negotiation. And responding to change over following a plan. That's not to say that Agile doesn't value the bottom item, but it values the top item more. That concludes our brief introduction to Agile. I'm Joe James, thank you for watching.